Hi everyone, it's Diana. I am your on-call therapist and I am answering the questions that you submitted on my website, truetoyoucounseling.com, under Ask Diana. Now, I've gotten a lot of questions that are similar to how do I get my husband to change? How do I get my partner to change? How do I better support my partner? How do I get my wife to do this, right? So kind of in the, in the, the vein of getting your partner to change or kind of supporting your partner in doing something or supporting your partner as they're working through recovery or something like that. So I wanna talk about those things kind of in a general sense. So this comes up a lot, right? It comes up a lot because we're, we are really complicated as individuals and then in partnerships it gets even more complicated. Your, your partner gets some sort of an addiction and is trying to work through it or doesn't want to work through it and you are trying to get them to change not only for you and for the relationship but for their, their good, right? And maybe for their life. Maybe their life is at risk or if they keep on that track it's going to go even worse. So these are real issues and they're, they're serious issues and they're so difficult. So if it, would, if it was easy to convince someone to change, you know, I wouldn't have an inbox full of these questions because it's so difficult. And I think we're not very good at drawing boundaries around what we need and what we want and what we expect from our partners. But we're really good at like side comments and passive aggressive comments and pressure and ultimatums. We're really good at all the stuff that's bad, right? And that doesn't really work, but we're really bad at actually supporting them and actually drawing boundaries that say, hey, this is what I expect from you. And if, if this isn't the case, then I can't do this anymore. But not in an ultimatum way, in a, in a this is what I need for my life, for my safety, for your safety, and for this relationship. And I'm willing to work with you, I'm willing to support you, I'm willing to help you, I'm willing to go to counseling with you, but if I don't get some movement on this, then I can't be in this. And maybe because I can't be in this to watch you self-destruct, or I can't be in this to watch our family self-destruct, or destruct, <laughs> be just destroyed by you, but those are clear and healthy boundaries to set and can sometimes be the hardest to set and to identify, like, where is my line? So think about that, where is your line? If you are the partner that's trying to get the other person to change, where is your line as far as what you will accept? Is there a line? Is the line like really serious? Like, well, I would leave if they cheated again, or I would leave if they refused to get help, or if you're honest with yourself, maybe there isn't really a line. And that's okay if you know that and you're not continually setting boundaries and giving ultimatums that you're not going to keep because that does no good for anyone and it lets them know that they can get away with whatever they want okay so if you are saying like if you do that again i'm gonna leave if you do that again that's it and then you're still there well you just gave them permission to do whatever they want and get away with it because you're showing that you will stay so I'm not saying that you have to pack your bags and leave right now because you said you would. I'm saying don't make threats that you're not going to keep. And don't make threats that aren't healthy. Okay? Then don't make threats that, that you know you're not going to follow through on. It's better to not make those at all. And to try to create really real conversations and space around this stuff where you can say, hey, this is, this is where I'm at and this really is hard and I want to work through this and figure out where they're at and what they want and figure out how you guys can come together which is one of the biggest things I do in couples work is figuring out how to verbalize what you each are saying in a way that's not going to immediately shut off and trigger the other person and try to come together and work together and work through this and figure out how to listen actually listen to the other person actually support them, actually make them feel heard. And those things get lost in 
relationships all the time and especially in relationships where you're working through something really tough. So figuring out how to come together, how to listen to each other, and how to, how to make a plan that you both can get on board with. And maybe that's starting really small and addressing some small things first before you get into the heavy stuff. And maybe that's cutting back your expectations and working towards those slowly. Maybe that's really hearing what they want and what they're working on and trying to get on board with that and help them achieve that. And maybe along the way, you guys can come together and figure out this is what our path looks like. I'm here, you're here, I can support you in this, you can do this because you know that's what I need and we can start to go on this path together. So it's really complicated, it's really difficult. Like all of the questions that I get, you, we wouldn't be submitting anonymous questions if they were easy to solve and easy to answer, right? So it's really tough, but it is possible and you can do it. It's gonna be a long road and a long journey. Um, but I would say first get clear on what you need and what you want and what you can put up with and what you can't. Where are your lines? Where are your boundaries? Where are your expectations? Get really clear on those before you start making ultimatums and boundaries with that other person. And try not to create those and then put them on them like, hey, this is, this is it, this is, this is what's happening. Try to have a conversation around that and maybe ask them like, hey, I'm, I've been thinking about these things and, and where my lines are and I'm wondering where yours are and where you're at. And, I think maybe if we both think about those and, and get some clarity on those, then we could have a conversation where we come together a little bit and talk through that. Obviously in your own language. Often my language is very therapeutic. It's not the way you'd actually say something, right? But, but along those lines, and that depends on where you're at in the relationship. If you're wanting to save the relationship and work on it, if you're not, if you're not sure, that depends on those things too. But. Focus on yourself first, get clear on what you want, why you're doing what you're doing, and, and evaluate that first and then kind of go to the other person. So shine that, that back on you a little bit and get some clarity for yourself and then try to move forward in what you want in the relationship. So I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you found it helpful, if you have any questions, and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys.